good morning students here is the continuation of the words which are to be used as a different parts of speech the word 16th is right right as noun here right when we take right as noun it mainly means power i have every right to protect myself i have every power so here right is used as noun in the same way right also can be used as a verb every wrong should be righted righted here means corrected so here righted to be used as a, even as a verb and right also can be used as an adjective stretch your right arm arm it is a noun so right to be used as a, or the grammatical status of right in this sentence it is a adjective 17th word 17th water as we all know the grammatical position of water it is a noun give me a glass of water even water also can be used as a verb i have to water my plants watering the plants mainly means feed the water supply the water to the plants i have to water means i have to feed i have to supply water to the plants here water do grammatical status of water here actually it is a noun but even water can also can be used as a verb i have to water my plants in the same way water also can be used as an adjective can you bring some water colors colors it is noun so water to be used as a adjective can you bring some water colors for me next one well well andre bavi the villagers get water from the well okay well bavi as a noun in the same way well also can be used as verb tears welled up in her eyes welled up means that is eyes her eyes are filled with tears tears welled up kantumbi bantu antivala tears welled up in her eyes welled up filled with tears so here welled up used as a verb and also uh, well to be used as an adjective i prefer the well water and next one is judge he is the senior judge okay judge here as noun even judge also can be used as an as a verb a man is judged judged here means decided a man is decided by his action so judge as a verb and word 20 milk as we once again milk it is noun grammatical mean grammatical status of milk it is noun milk is good for health and even milk also can be used as a verb the servant milks our calf here milks mainly means feed the milk to the calf feed the milk with bottle to the calf that is the servant milks means feeding so here milk is used as a verb in the same way milk also can be used as an adjective i gave the baby a milk chocolate chocolate it is noun so milk is a word which modifies noun so here or adds something to noun so milk here used as an adjective and even milk also can be used as a adverb he wore a milk white turban so here please no more confusion turban again it is noun white adjective milk and just remember the definition or meaning of adverb adverb is a word which modifies or adds something to the verb and also adjective so white it is adjective and this milk it says something or it modifies adjective white so here in this sentence milk is used or grammatical status of milk here it is adverb and next one is desire rakesh desires that is wishes rakesh desires to be an engineer verb my desire my desire my wish my desire is to be a doctor here desire is a noun next bottle once again bottle is noun please get me a bottle of milk in the same way bottle so can be used as a verb and adjective the milk is bottled in a factory 
बॉटल मीन्स मिल्क इज केप्ट इन अ फैक्ट्री सो हियर बॉटल मीन्स यूज एज अ वर्ब इन सेम वे बॉटल ऑल्सो कैन बी यूज एज एन एडजेक्टिव इट इज बॉटल्ड मिल्क मिल्क अगेन इट इज नाउन सो बॉटल्ड मिल्क बॉटल्ड इज यूज एज एन एडजेक्टिव नेक्स्ट वन इज नर्स a nurse is when we take nurse as noun a nurse is looking after the baby and even nurse also can be used as a verb a lady is nursing the baby here nursing means taking care of a lady is taking care of a nursing one who is taking care so nursing used as a verb next one cheat take care he, uh, he will cheat you that is cheat here as a verb and even cheat as a can be used as noun <clears throat> take care he is a cheat and uh, next one is humble humble mainly means modest who is not very proud of himself he had a lot of wealth but was humble very modest humble the word mainly say something about the person about noun so humble is used as an adjective in the same way humble also can be used as the verb the sudden loss of his wealth humbled him humbled him means uh, that is uh, here in this context humbled means a person in a low rank the sudden loss of his wealth made him very low or um, that is uh, suffered low rank in the status so here humbled used as a verb next school school once again it is a noun the children are going to school as noun when we take use school as an adjective they are school children children it is a noun so school children school used as an adjective the next one is blind he blind again it is a adjective mainly used with noun he is a blind beggar beggar it is noun so blind it says the word blind says something about the noun beggar so here blind it is used as an adjective in the same way blind also can be used as a verb and noun a dust storm blinded my eyes here blinded my eyes means unable to see because of the dust storm i am unable to see anything so here blinded means blinded as used as verb in same way she pulled down the blinds here the blinds means a screen for the windows so uh, blinds used as a noun she pulled down the um, blinds here blinds is used as noun next one is oil again oil is a noun we use oil to cook delicious dishes in same way oil as it can be used as verb <clears throat> oil your machinery regularly oiling here mainly means apply the oil to the machinery regularly so oiling oil used as a verb and next one is mud the hut is made of mud mud here used as a noun and in the same way mud also can be used as an adjective he lives in a mud house a house which is made up of mud mud house and uh, 29th last but one dirty dirty again it is uh, used as adjective the classroom is very dirty even dirty also can be used as verb students dirty the classroom so students they dirty the classroom here dirty as uh, used as a verb and last one inch 12 inches make a foot so here inch here used as a noun in the same way inch also can be used as verb the cyclone is inching towards the shore here inching means moving towards moving slowly the cyclone is inching means the cyclone is moving slowly towards the shore so inching here mainly used as the verb so this is all about words which are to be used as a different parts of speech and once again you have to write all these grammatical portion synonyms antonyms 
nouns pronouns and all these uh, are different uses of uh, different uh, the one uh, different words to be used as different parts of speech all those things in your notebook and as our offline class starts or our regular classes start and definitely i'm going to check all your notes so and also uh, i'm going to give some more words from the question paper previous year question papers so okay thank you take care